friends welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to take a look at how to uh, populate data from a https api request so let's say you send a api request to uh, a parameter and, or a url or endpoint and you want to store the response of that api call into your uh, elastic search so we are going to take a look at how we can do that so for that we are going to use http puller plugin that is available for logstash and we are going to write the config accordingly and then we are going to store that data into our elastic search so for this demonstration we are going to be using a random api uh, uh, generator so for this case we are using random user dot me uh, and their dash api endpoint generates a new user every time we send a request to that endpoint as you can see over here so this time it generated amanda let's reload the page and now we can see that it it generated the data according to another user which is ali so let's get started on how to uh, create a config for that and start pulling the data into elastic so we are going to follow the same step by creating the config for uh, first so just do nano etc and log stash on dot e and over here we are going to name this http api dot con and hit enter and now we are going to create the config so here we are going to follow the same steps like first we are going to define the input input section and after input section we are going to define output section and we are going to populate these two uh, config settings accordingly so first of all we need to uh, populate the input uh, input part and we are going to specify that we are going to be using http folder plugin and then we are going to write the config for that and we are now going to specify the urls from where uh, logstash will be pulling the data from and in our case it is this url so just copy this copy and paste it over here and after uh, that we are going to just give me a uh, url name and this is an object class so we are going to put it in there so array so we are going to write it uh, as one url and then the liberty and and after that we are going to close this out so that we know that which part is which and I am just going to give a tab so that it looks uh, somewhere somewhere a bit clean so now we are going to uh, specify some request uh, related things like the request timeout and how often uh, logstash should make the request to the server to get the data so let's uh, write that so over here we are going to specify request underscore time out so this is going to be uh, for 60 seconds if uh, the server does not respond for 60 seconds it is going to time out and the next thing is we need to write schedule s e c s e d u l schedule and we are going to specify how often it is going to go ahead and pull the data uh, from the server so we are going to specify every 20 seconds so we want uh, 
log stash to go ahead and uh, get the data every 20 seconds from the server and now we are going to tell the codec for that and it is going to be in line that means that each line is going to be a single log and now we are going to define the output section over here just type elasticsearch and we are going to write the template for elasticsearch and just over here posts which are going to be our elasticsearch post so http double dot one four And port is 9200 and after that we are going to specify the index where the logs will be stored so in uh, my case I am going to name the index API logs API logs and the next thing is we are going to define a S out out and this is going to be vortex is equal to Yogi and just save the file control x and save it yes and now we have created the uh, config that we need just to verify that we haven't missed misspelled anything we are going to recheck it so that we can continue with our next step http folder url and url name from there timeout So everything seems to be correct and now we need to run this config in order to populate our data. So just to slash user here log stash bin log stash and dash f slash c log stash on and over here the name of our configuration is http api and hit enter now it is going to send request to uh, that url and start pulling the data from that uh, url so let's give it a second till it starts and starts gathering the logs as you can see over here our config has started and it is starting to gather data from all uh, those responses and let's go ahead and see in our kibana interface if the index is created so just go to the management and click on index patterns and over here we are going to create a new index pattern so that we can load our data into elasticsearch so as you can see over here first result was inserted so now it uh, our index pattern should um, should be visible over here, and as you can see over here, uh, our API logs index has been created. And just paste it over here and click next. And over here we are going to select timestamp and create index pattern. Now it is going to create our index pattern and go to discover. 
and select the index pattern from where we want to see the logs. In our case, it is API log. Click on that and you can see over here already we have three alerts. That means we have uh, gathered the data from three API calls. So you can see over here all the data that was in that message like the first name and all the response that was uh, against that API call and if you refresh uh, the log over here you can see that it, uh, it has now gathered four. So it is going to run in the background and start gathering all the uh, responses for, for all the API calls that are uh, being made by the log stash as we specified in the config file that it is going to request us every a single log after 20 seconds and then going to store that log into our Elasticsearch uh, index. index. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions do comment down below. Uh, in the coming videos we are going to take a look at how we can parse this log and store uh, all the information in their uh, separate fields. So it is more uh, visually understandable by a user. So we are going to take a look at that. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, do comment down below. Do subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.